What's so hard about video games? It's just pushing buttons and staring at a screen, right? Sports are about athleticism and competing. Games are for kids. To some, games are a lifetime of built-up practice and experience. It's about climbing to be the best. To some, it's about getting a fighting chance. Alright, well, are you ready to go? Oh yeah, I am ready for that. I played so many games yesterday. <laughs> now it's like, okay, I'm good now. I'm ready to play now. Within the last 10 years, esports have gone from a buzzword to a multi-million dollar industry. Today, we can see high-tier events like Dota 2's The International and League of Legends World Championship reaching a combined approximate $27 million prize pool. But everything starts small, and to many, the dream of being the best starts here. Fighting game tournaments have some of the most storied history in gaming, in halls much like this one. One of the first big international tournaments was B3 Battle by the Bay in 1996 in California, which saw players across the country and Canada pour into LA for the biggest tournaments of its time. This tournament would eventually turn into one of the biggest tournaments in the fighting games community, known as the Evolution Championship Series. Evolution, or EVO, today is known as one of the most coveted titles by many in the FGC. While it's easy in today's age to play versus people online, many still travel to even small tournaments for an experience that many say has to be seen firsthand. This is Mike Bozar. He runs a prominent tournament in the Midwest called Frosty Faustines, but here we see him in a totally different setting. For some, it's intimidating to enter a large tournament with heavy prize pools, so Mike started a special monthly tournament called Garage Gear. So, I mean, it's really exciting to be at tournaments because of the variety of players present, uh, you know, the variety of play styles you get to play against, um, just the atmosphere um, with everyone, just the excitement they bring and everyone watching and, and just uh, that, that uh, feeling of community as well. So Garage Gear is very much like the definition of a grassroots event. It's very much community run. Uh, everything is you know, mostly supplied is our setups by, you know, uh, the community. I just provide the space and everything and uh, everyone pitches in. And uh, it's really just to build our local scene, get people uh, to keep playing. It gives them something to, uh, you know, strive for, to, uh, you know, practice, knowing that there's going to be, you know, a pretty big tournament with, uh, coming up every, you know, b roughly every month or other month around the, the warmer months of the year and it gives people more inspiration to, you know, grind and level up and play and uh, just gather and, and just have a good time. So, what does it take to do well at a tournament, big or small? This is Linnell L. Train Dinkins, one of Michigan's biggest Tekken 7 players. Linnell is getting ready for Yumacon in Detroit, Michigan. Yumacon is one of the Midwest's biggest anime conventions and boasts an attendance of over 20,000 people. Here, Linnell is going to take part in only a subsection of the convention, the Battle Opera. The Battle Opera hosts multiple tournaments across multiple games like Street Fighter V, Soul Calibur VI, and Super Smash Bros. But Linnell will be competing against 76 other players for $400 in Tekken 7. This may not be EVO, but that doesn't make this competition any less valuable to anyone. Especially not to Jay, Haley, or Mia, tournament operators of the Battle Opera. Well, what takes you from, you know, just going over to your friend's house as a major isn't just the amount of people that's there, it's also just at the level and what the production is at. You know, there are tournaments now that are hosted on ESPN. And if you know, if you take it all home, you know, you're not taking your friends $20, you're walking away with 20 grand. What a lot of people miss when it comes to being at an event is that there's this gigantic social element to it, being around those people when things happen, or being, it's like being at a sporting event. When, when things get excited, you feel the excitement in the room as well. And you can't replicate that elsewhere unless you're at the event proper. My main drive now to get better is just to test and see how far I can go and 
pretty much just seeing, you know, it's basically pitting yourself against the competition. And since I'm a competitive person by nature, you know, it's, it's almost like in my blood to do it. For L-Train, this is his time. Most fighting game tournaments operate under a double elimination bracket, starting with the pool bracket stage. Then, if players can win five matches, they will advance to the playoff bracket in either the loser's or winner's bracket. Linnell entered the bracket stage without dropping a match. Now he's going to be up against some of the best competition the tournament has to offer. However, the best the battle opera would have wouldn't be enough. This has always been like a tournament that gets away from me. Like I win everything else, or majority of everything else, but don't cut it at Yumicon, so to finally get that first place, oh man, it feels good. It was a good weekend. Um, I had fun, you know, saw a lot of friends, laughs, fun in the crowd the whole night, so yeah. While titles like Street Fighter and Tekken don't reach top sales charts like they had some time ago, the passion of the community is what drives others to compete and continue to strive for victory. My favorite part of the community is obviously the gaming aspect of it. When we come to the tournaments, we get to compete and hang out with friends, you know, get real competitive, especially when it's your favorite fighting game that you love to play. When I, when I play my fighting games, I take it just as serious no matter who I'm playing or where I'm at at all times. It's a place where anyone who wants to come and play and try to get better is welcome. And that's unique. Uh, I think it's unique in esports. I think it's unique in our culture. And anyone who loves the games can come and be a part of a family. I just love like the solidarity and like the unity that we have here. I feel like that's like we have that like where other scenes are kind of just like, okay, you know, hey, we're just like, you know, top players that, you know, grind and, you know, can play games and all that good stuff and really, really good at it but like I feel like here we're family like we actually help one another and like you know it's, it's amazing to me that's just how I, how I feel about it so. It is interesting seeing the growth of the community because I've been going to majors I pretty much immediately started going to majors in the Midwest area I've been to Combo Breaker, Fausty Fostings, I've been to CEO Taku and then we started doing Michigan Masters and it's so amazing to see the growth even with just within Michigan Masters because we started out the first year and we were in this kind of small mall front and then we moved to an actual large venue where we fit over 300 people. That's amazing to see so many people getting more interested in fighting games and willing to attend events. Yeah, I think at this point it's hard for me to think of my life without this. Like, I could never quit this. I could never stop doing this. I could never stop thinking about doing this. I could never stop thinking about playing these games. I could never stop thinking about the people that I know from here. I can never stop thinking about the friends and connections that this has brought me. Like this is irrevocably tied to my life now because of so many aspects. And when people think of this as maybe just competition or just a tournament, you're right, but I have to press upon you like how much more to it there is. I just, I love seeing how it's developed. Nothing is the same anymore. You know, these aren't just games that we play just for fun. Like these are people who can who can make this game into this livelihood. And if you would have asked me six years ago if that was something that I ever saw happening, definitely wouldn't have said yes. Big or small, players give competition their best, even when it's not enough. Um, personally, there's always a chance you can go 0-2, and, and that's a real thing. I've competed and I've went 0-2, but the great aspect is, is once you're done with the tournament, you can go and you can just sit down with somebody else and play those matches. The people that you lost against, you can fight them again and see where you went wrong. When you net play, there's a lot of you know factors like connection and things like that, but at least when you're getting to interact with these people in person, they can help you, know, you learn and get better. And then maybe that next tournament you won't go 0-2. We go back really far. I used to run really small events uh, when I was a student at UIC and I've been running kind of smaller local level events for a very long time and uh, you know eventually I moved to Japan so I decided to create Frosty Faustings so that I'd have uh, something was going on around the holiday seasons in the winter when I would come back and visit and I just took that experience I had running uh, you know smaller events and Frosty eventually just grew up into this huge uh, event and now it's like probably something like the fourth largest in the U.S. in terms of uh, players 
um, but the difference between that event and smaller events like garage gear is really, I mean, that's more of a, a larger scale. You're gonna get players from all over the world. It's a one, one year, once a year thing, whereas garage gear and smaller events are more designed to kind of just keep the local community together, keep them hungry to keep playing, uh, you know, give them somewhere to practice and uh, just keep, keep uh, life grow, uh, going into the scene and giving uh, new players a place to go as well. Sports are about passion. Esports are about passion. While they live in different worlds, their goal is one and the same, to win. From the early 90s to today, while esports have grown to some of the biggest stages and draw millions of viewers, fighting games have survived on the back of its fan base. Whether the tournament is Garage Gear, Yumicon, or Evo, the passion is the same. The goal is the same. They all just want to have.